Yeah, uh, no, no points between your discussion, but it's basically on the contrary point that you told to my point. Um, about certification, I see, you know, you made an assumption that, uh, I don't know how many companies you work for, maybe in certain companies they do reverse engineering and try to get up for the uh, certification and put things in place just because they want to get the certification. But there are companies who actually do the things and get the certification. Now that is a, another debate. That's, that's uh, being not fair. Sorry. Uh, that's another debate. Let's not get into that. The point that I'm trying to make is a certification will give the other person a certain level of confidence. It may it not be that you're doing 100%. Now, uh, let's say, in my engineering, I studied fluid mechanics, I studied uh, mechatronics, and I'm a mechanic to that. Which of it am I applying here? And if you ask me, I scored a first class distinction, if you ask me the definition of mechatronics, I won't be able to tell you. Right? So, uh, what I'm trying to say here is a certification will give the other person a certain level of confidence. Now, let's take an example. I teach a lot of interviews. I keep certification as a hall ticket. You will not even get an entry into my interview if you don't have a certification. You have a certification, you get it. And once you are in, I might not look into what certification you have, what award you have, I would look at the knowledge. So I'm saying you have a certification, if you want to survive, you will have to have a knowledge. And if you have one a deal, and if you are surviving, that means you have a certification, plus you have the basic knowledge that you need to, to survive. So that's why these companies who are there at the top, they look for certification, though everybody knows, yes, HP is a top-notch company, they want to do a deal with me, I wouldn't doubt a bit to give my project to them because I know it will be a success because they have a track record. Along with that, I see that these people are up to the market. They have the certification that is latest in the industry. That means they have the maturity and they are always on the watch to improve. So I will be rest assured that my project will not go into dumps if I give it to HP. So, I mean, this is just one example. I'm saying basically certification is, is, is a checklist of best practices. And if you have a certification that shows that you have the elementary hygiene uh, that an organization should need and that will help you uh, I am not saying that is the only reason to have uh, help you bag a deal but I am saying it certainly helps you bag a deal if you do not have certification sometimes your company will not even be shortlisted to have a discussion on whether you can take up my projects once or not so, um, I would like to come to that saying Bill Gates just failed to have been recruited by you because I don't think he made past college so uh, <laughs> right so, uh, yeah, he probably wouldn't have come for an interview, but uh, yeah, he just didn't make it. All right, fine. Uh, I agree with your point that they, the certifications do give confidence to a customer. When, I mean, I need proof when I'm... Yeah, I, think, I think we are deviating a bit because this is not the topic about certification, actually. It's, it's about best practices, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, I would about have best practice, too. Yeah. Uh, Okay, tell me who can give a guarantee here, especially in service, there is no guarantee, it's only for products. Uh, and what I would like to say is, um, we are making an assumption here that you have a certification, you will not be able to deliver. That's not the case. What I am trying to say is, you have a certification, if you want to survive, you need to have the knowledge, I am not denying the fact. But a certification, again, you know, I am breaking it down, so I am not deviating from the topic. When I say certification, it's basically a checklist of the best practices, right? Uh, so you know, SVC, you know, if you see ITL is a framework, you know, you cannot, um, it's not a standard you can measure against saying that what is the maturity of your organization in ITL, but in CO, CMI, SVC, you can. So basically what they have done is they have broken it down to the activities that an organization should do, right? 
and it is at least giving you an opportunity, at least you have a chance. You know, you might fail, there is no guarantee in service, there is always a warranty. But if you do not have these best practices, if the uh, company you are bidding for sees that there is absolutely no maturity for the organization because you do not have the strategy, the strategy I mean again is the best practice. So what confidence will I be able to give my team in a, a bid and a series of meetings with the sales guys, how much of information can I gather about this company? Right? So this certification will give us a whole lot of information when I say that I must know my SVC level 3 company, I get a lot of information just by that one word. And we do not have enough time to sit with each of the department of the company and organization to see what are their processes, policies, tools, techniques and then I will say, okay, I will go ahead and give you my deal. That's where these things will help us in, in this present world where things are moving faster and quicker. You need to have best practices, to have a common language, to make a mark and to be able to convince uh, uh, and give a, a level of confidence to our uh, customers saying that yes, we can deliver what you are asking for. Thanks. I just want to add two more points. Uh, uh, best practices uh, and relate to the, to the operational efficiency, how the industry, uh, at the own organization, how we can improve the productivity, how we will be able to deliver within the state and the budget. Surely they will help us. Second point is uh, not just within the organization, it is always good to know what is happening uh, in the industry. To give uh, one more practical example, uh, suppose if you take Nokia, uh, Nokia is supposed to be the, uh, I mean, when you say supposed to be two to three years back, it was a market leader. But however, uh, in my view, they ignored the, uh, maybe I will term it as a best practice uh, related to the smartphones. A lot of other companies there are into smartphones, but unfortunately, Nokia did not venture into it. So while I would uh, say that uh, all the industry is uh, going to uh, so-called best practice which is called a smartphone, Nokia ignored it. And then uh, finally if you look at uh, again the recent results, they say that uh, the, for the first time, uh, their uh, share of the mobile market went down to below 30%, which is right now stands at 29%. However, uh, companies like uh, 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 Apple, uh, they are the man of market leaders in the smartphone industry. So uh, what I mean is uh, not being in the way, we also need to understand how the industry is uh, doing and what are the different best practices that are followed in the industry. Uh, so uh, that would really help with the uh, company team. Can I say something? Yes. Sorry, uh, I think uh, there's some misunderstanding here. Ideas or the next best thing is not a best practice. Smartphones were the next best thing. No cafe to follow it, it dropped out of the competition. So uh, I don't think it was not following the best practices, I, I guess it will just make up. So, um, let's not try and have uh, ideas or innovations mixed with best practices. That's all. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, my point is uh, being in the way. I mean, if you are in the way, you probably would not know what is happening in the outside industry, which means that you do not know uh, some of the best practices that are going on right now. So, that's why I think even if you uh, take an individual, right, usually if they are not exposed to the outside world, their growth is going to be very limited uh, within that particular organization, and then probably the kind of growth they will get within their own role and organization is going to be limited. Thanks, you just proved my point. You said following the best practices, that company stayed in the well. Wasn't able to get out, and that's how it wasn't really such a big success. Okay. We will get to the first answers. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I, I have one comment, uh, yes, actually. Uh, very cleverly, what you have done is that you have not made your statements about why you say best practice will not work. You just countered their questions, actually. Okay, so I would like to hear a couple of strong points from your side saying why you say best practice will not allow organizations to move forward. When you need to move forward, you still need to have your best practices in check. I agree with that part where uh, Ravi said that your first foundation needs to be clear. What I'm trying to say is best practices might not really help you move forward in the longer run. Is where uh, you know all the best practices they try and help you to be to be uh, really judgmental when it comes to all the known situations. What about if you throw a twist that you never actually encountered? Where I believe all the, the examples that you people gave when uh, they were speaking about the risks, Japan encountered the, the earthquake, and then the nuclear reactor burst. 
they weren't really in a situation where they were, uh, they had actually, an, uh, you know, calculated what happens if all my, um, whatever those schooling things were, what happens if they would not work. They failed to consider that, and why they failed to consider it. Because so, won't not, this become a best practice later? It might. So, won't the other organization has to adopt this? I agree on that. Or they will also wait for the disaster, I will be innovative at that point of time. Uh, there is a, uh, there's, there's a Maharashtra because why I am asking specific question? Because two three comments what you made say that best practice has been for 35 years. You are assuming that it's all very old, some you know books which is like Vedas or something like that. Best practice is evolved over a period of time. So it's like every year until V3 is coming. Now 2001, 11 is getting released. So best practices are evolving. So that's the reason I specifically said in the tsunami example. So one organization. Faces an issue, they learn something that becomes an industry best practice. I agree with that. So, and I say that it does help you counter the current situations, hmm. but does it help you counter something that comes out of the. But, but for moving forward, everything is not unexpected. There are a lot of unexpected situations also. So you need best practices to counter the expected situations. So don't uh, best practices help you to move forward? Uh, in a way, they do, but you know, they don't really allow you to break. You know, question is not breaking beyond. Can it really help you to move forward? Uh, see, in, in my own point of view, I consider moving forward as being way beyond the competition. And so being way So my business planning is not moving forward? Uh, it is. So that is look, non situation, right? It is a non situation, and I agree with you saying yes. So can I use best practices for that? You can use best practices to uh, try and and see, it, it gives you a flat line um, trending. It gives you that's not moving forward. That is moving forward, but that is not breaking beyond that. And question is not breaking beyond. Question is moving forward. Okay, I, I, I guess that that's what I say. Because many times we get into argument, which is not the question. Question is saying best, best practice helping us to move forward. Well, best practices evolve. So when you uh, change a best practice. You are moving forward, and that the whole best practice is moving forward, and that's how the industry is moving forward. But that in itself tells that whatever best practices this whole thing was based off were not adequate. They that is not the best practice. That was the older best practice no. than the current. Company. I will adopt the current industry. What do you mean by industry best practice? What is the best practice in the industry today? So if I keep on with the best practice in the industry today, I might have to do some changes in it, renovate it, so that it gives me to a point where I will be first. So when you move the best practice forward, you are in itself saying that... What I am not moving. What I am saying that best practice itself has moved forward, so I don't have that. I agree. What, what, what I am trying to say is, the best practice, when you say that it has moved forward, you are agreeing to the fact that whatever best practices were there, version minus one, that is not a best practice. Best is, what is best industry best practice today? As of now? Yes. Uh, none of, I, I'll give you my word in writing that none of the company is able to keep up to the standards as and when it comes out. It's not possible. It, it, there is a huge lot of change uh, requests and all that entire cycle to go through and approvals and all that stuff that takes while to take, uh, you know, so there is no company that... Let it take two years, let it move forward. It might, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just... Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to ask, but uh, because given the plethora of discussions that we have gone through, you know, uh, some interesting points around best practices and changing best practices. So there, uh, so I probably I want to ask, maybe she, she has spoken so much about between you, so probably you could say, what is best practice and what is the changing best practice and where does it apply? So, uh, what is the best practice? Or what is the change in this practice? Changing this practice. Changing. 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 It's evolving. No, we evolving. talked about that, right? It evolves. Yeah. So, which one? Can you give some examples about that and how it's helping the industry to move forward? So, probably I'll uh, pick up uh, something related to retail. Where I, uh, sorry, I'll pick up something uh, related to retail. So, uh, uh, where I work right now. So, uh, retail industry, if you look at uh, probably 15 years.